Hey! Welcome to my studio. Today we accomplished the making of a custom advent calendar. And December is here, and the countdown to Christmas has actually begun. Now, there's Christmas trees uh, being sold all around, baubles are on display, ice streets are beginning to get decorated for that season of spending. The general feeling of something good coming is wafted in the bat in the air. Last year, my sister, she sent me a challenge. It was the Art Material Advent Calendar Challenge. In response, I made one for her this year. Allow me to show you how I did that. The basic idea was to split up a plywood board into 24 parts and drill apertures into it, and then cover it with paper and decorate. Why plywood, you may ask? Well, there's a few reasons and it seemed like the quickest way to construct a series of compartments within which to hide little goodies. It's very sturdy and therefore reusable. After it's been used, you can cut off the excess and glue on a new paper front to decorate. Another reason is I had all the tools and materials handy, so I didn't spend money making it, which is always a bonus. At the workshop, I measured and cut my piece of plywood so that it would comfortably house 24 holes of a 35mm size. It's one of the standard force and a bit sizes that fit is used for hinges, by the way. Then it was off to the drill press to bore the holes all the way through. I had my press speed set too high at first, but I didn't get it right in the end. After that's done, I glue on the back which is some 5mm plywood that I had lying around and I leave it to dry. Had I been using a thicker piece of plywood, I could have set the boring depth less than the thickness of the board and skip this step, but that's the plywood that I had. Then it was time to sort out the plywood sides. Some people like the sandwich aesthetic and some people don't. Personally, unless it's primo grade big box plywood, I find it looks cheap so I elected to cover it with some strips of scrap hardwood that I had lying around. In this case, a bit of ash that I had left over.
After glue and clamping, a bit of sanding, and the glue's dried, the shell was ready. Off to the studio. I marked out a piece of paper and set out where the 24 points of ingress would be by pressing the paper down over the plywood shell. Then it was painting time. I went for a literal interpretation of an advent calendar, in keeping with the theme of the holiday it was originally conceived for.
So you've got the three wise men over here on their camels moving towards the star. And the star is pointing both to a place and the number 24, which is the Christmas Eve. It seems curious to me how the meaning of the festivities is being placed to one side. And the thought came to mind, the centerpiece of the Christmas Eve seems like an attempt to inherit the properties of the classic dishes by the participants to become stuffed like the turkey and uh, impregnated with booze like the pudding. This is then followed directly after the new year by a depressive emptiness. The decorations are hastily ripped off the walls, the Christmas trees dumped in a local park. Back to work or school and another year begins with a collective sigh. No wonder so many people hate the holiday. Did you know that when Christmas was important to people for spiritual reasons, it was the opposite. December was a period of fasting and preparation, but the eponymous 12 days of Christmas would be the length of the actual celebrations called Christmas Tide. Certainly makes more sense to me, as a hard stop to any preceding fun on the 2nd January seems slightly sadistic. Anyway, back to our regular programming. When the front picture is done, well it's time to insert the goodies, the watercolour pots. And the idea is, you need to use the colour within to paint the picture, with that particular colour, on that particular day. Now if you're making it for yourself, you can put chocolates or sweets inside. And some of the colours can't seem to dry, so I'm inserting mini plastic shields to protect the paper front. And I'm cutting these from plastic bottles. Once the goodies are in, the front gets glued on. I chose to paint the sides and the back too, just to make it that more festive and colourful. Now if you'd like to make something similar but you don't have a drill press, it's not a problem, you can easily use a power drill. You just need to make a guide hole and then follow it with a force in a bit and try to keep the drill relatively straight and you'll get pretty much the same results. And you don't need to have fancy hardwood banding on the side. If the plywood texture offends, just use some wood filler and a bit of sanding and then paint it. I've done that before and uh, it comes out quite well, really smooth. That is it. The advent calendar is complete. It's colourful, solid, it'll smash your flimsy cardboard advent calendar into tiny pieces. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Calendar's already been delivered to my sister and absolutely cannot wait to see what she creates with us. Looking forward to it immensely, yeah. Meanwhile, she sent me another art material challenge. More on that in the next video.